Okay, so I was just about to go to Joanne's after I calculated how many yards I needed for the couch. Um, my math was completely wrong, but luckily I found this. It's called fabric-calculator.com. Um, just came up in my search for like a yard cal calculator for box cushions. Um, but yeah, I, I came up with like 300, or not 300, like 100 yards. So I was just like adding up all of the um, uh, the inches all together, and basically that would have been just lying all the pieces down, um, which potentially is something you could do. But that was like six hundred dollars or more for some of these fabrics, uh, depending on what you got. Because um, I went to Joanne's a few months ago just to kind of see the prices and see if there was stuff that I liked. Um, but the calculator ended up telling me I needed 10, so very different, because um, I was basically like taking the blocks and like lying it out. It took into account the width, the most common width of fabric. Um, and I put the, the smaller one, I think it's like 46 inches, but for upholstery fabric, usually it's like over 50. But I was kind of calculating on my phone with those prices that I knew from Joann's. Um, one that I liked I think was like $15 and then a more expensive one was like 50 and that's per yard. Um, so even like 10 yards of that $50 one was just too much. That's, I'm not wanting to spend that much on the couch cushions. Um, so I thought, why don't I just check online, see if there's a wholesale website. And sure enough, I actually think it was one of the ads through, um, fabric.com had this really pretty gray, it's called tell, it's a sort of herringbone fabric, it looks like, um, but it's 950 per yard. And it's actual upholstery fabric. If I was to go with the cheaper option at Joann's, it would have just been like a thin kind of basic fabric. Um, the upholstery ones from them were, I mean, there was maybe a $25 one, but it wasn't my favorite, but still like $10, less than $10 versus 25 kind of a no-brainer. So unfortunately, I wish I could have gotten it today. That way I could have started the project this week. Um, I did pay an extra $30 for, I think it was four day shipping. Um, I spent, I think it was $130 for the fabric and then another $30 for, I guess it was $120. Yeah, because I think my total was, what does it say, 154, yeah. So, um, it's not going to, it stays the 17th, so it's not going to come in until the 23rd, I think. Um, but I have other stuff I can do while my dad is on his honeymoon. Um, but yeah, just a little annoyed that I couldn't just pick it up, but, um, the prices I just can't afford <laughs> spending a couple hundred dollars on, yeah, I think it was like when I calculated the cheaper one, it was like $220 or something like that. Um, so I just couldn't, yeah, decide to go with the cheaper option. And so once that comes in, then I'll start working on that project. I took a little video, like screen grab video of um, me typing in all the measurements. Um, but yeah, let me, I'll show you the fabric right now. So that's the fabric. It's coming out a little warm tone. I'm trying to see, will that do it? Meh, yeah, it's, it look, it's looking a little brown, but it's a true gray. And they did, it's a little lighter than, oh, that looks a bit better. It is lighter though than what I was planning. They had, and that's, I only knew that, figured that out because of the review photos. Exit. But the couch, someone did a whole couch with it. And it does actually look really nice. So I feel like it'll bright up, brighten up the, um, the van since I'm doing the dark wood on the floors and ceiling, dark stain. So yeah, I think it does look nice and yeah, you can kind of see it's a cool toned gray. But. So I actually really like that. So that actually was an ad f that popped up when I searched wholesale fabric. Um, that it was that swatch, the first thing that I showed you, but um, yeah, I like it a lot. So a few days, five, three, four days, it will be here. And I can start, I might, I could always cut out the, um, what's it called? The template, I think is what, I don't know. They, I, when I used to do a lot of sewing projects when I was younger, 
you can buy these like sewing kits and it has the paper template that you use and with the sizing and stuff. Um, cause I used to make clothes with my mom. Um, and yeah, so I'll make my own cause I have my own brown craft paper. So I'll just kind of box, put those all together and, um, I can kind of pin them or paper clip them together based on like which cushions, which, um, and I do have the measurements still in my phone and like kind of what I called each cushion. Um, cause I didn't want to mi mix up all that stuff. And I, yeah, I wrote on the cushion too, cause that's going to be upholstered. I will still have to go to Joanne's once I get the fabric, um, to get, um, and I have to get a strong thread. I'll probably have to pick up some more needles because usually when you do upholstering, if you don't have a proper um, sewing machine, it doesn't work as well. It works, but it just, you'll break a few needles trying to sew through that. But I do also need to pick up a zipper that matches a well, a few, bunch of zipper um, lining for that so I can walk, take the cushion off and wash it. Um, so I think this project might be a total of like maybe $175, which isn't that bad. I already have the sewing machine. Um, yeah. Just wanna come back on because I was looking back at the fabric. This would've been so cool, but it, again, it's just a little bit out of my price range, but you can seriously get any fabric that you want. Yeah, I came across this, I think it was some of these other Southwestern styles. It could be cool to make a uh, cushion eventually, but these are really pretty Southwestern uh, designs. I like this one a lot. Um, yeah, so like stuff like this just looks so cool. Maybe a cool tablecloth or something might be good. But yeah, so I mean, if you end up, if you were like making a bunch of stuff, you could easily, like if you're getting more, I only, I think this is where mine kind of fell in from the last ones. So they have three different tiers, but the more you buy, the more you get off. Ooh, those are cool, pretty cool colors too, like that one. Um, it's kind of nice. They do give you the measurements of the design, but yeah, oh, it's out of stock, but yeah, cool website, uh, fabric.com. I think I heard about it before, but um, it's very useful. All right, we're back at it. So today I am gonna do some polyurethane on the floor and then also the counter that I've taken out. It's actually out there, so I'll show you. Um, so I started by taking everything off the floor, including the little slat thing, because that overlaps on this. So yeah, there's the counter. So I'm gonna put a few more coats on there. Unfortunately, there's a scratch. I think that's from the uh, stove sliding around a little bit while I drive. Um, but there's the slat section of the bed. Um, just hooked that off and made some room. I had to take the battery out because that's normally like right down there, but um, lifted that up. Very, very heavy. Um, and now I am going to sweep, make it very, very clean in there. Because um, otherwise everything's going to kind of stick to it. But I wanted to, I think I might do, it dries pretty quickly, so I'm hoping I can do a few coats. Um, I'll have to kind of, before I start driving, I have to take all of the cushions off. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get that all clean. And then I think I'm going to put you up on the tripod. Um, so you can kind of watch me do the polyurethane on there. Okay, so I was able to save my polyurethane from before, just sealed it, and even the brush that I used is also still good because I wrapped it up in some plastic, a plastic bag to seal it off so it's still soft and isn't like firm. Um, but yeah, so it's all brushed through. There's still like random little pieces, but this is going to be under the main flooring that's going to be like this the tone that i want but it's actually it's called it's that life proof flooring you can get at home depot um it's like one step above laminate flooring it actually cre does create a seal if i think if it's done right but just in case i mess up i don't think this stuff can get wet plywood um so it's all like wood that's like smashed together and glued um so just to be on the safe side i'm gonna polyurethane it it's not like I wouldn't say it's 100% necessary, but just to be careful, I am. And I still have plenty of this, um, and I'm gonna kind of be going between doing the floor and then doing the um, the last few coats on the counter. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I 
I'm just reusing my gloves from when I was doing the tie dyeing to for the shibori for the bed. But so with this, you always want to stir your stuff over, like kind of as you're using it too, because otherwise it'll get um, kind of layered and separate a little bit. And put this bag in the door over here so I don't lose it. But um, yeah, and I'm actually barefoot right now. I'm gonna start in the corner over there and then work my way kind of over to the side and then over here. Um, that way, obviously, like you don't step on it when you're trying to get the deeper sides, but. we go to the counter. Forgot the word for a second. So it's pretty windy today, so it keeps getting covered, so I'm gonna actually quickly put some rocks down just to make sure it stays really flat. But do the same thing. Oh, that's hot. Um, I've already put about three coats on there because I was with the minimum that the can said, but I definitely want to do more. There's Shasta barking in there. <laughs> going to dry pretty quickly because um, it's in the sun and I can already tell well that um, like the grain the like so I try to stay in the same direction because that's going to be well, more, more on display um, it looks like that little scratch is just something I'm gonna have to deal with but oh well um, but yeah a few more coats of that that's no coat, coat number four I might do six or I might just keep going and see how thick I want it um, yeah so we gotta wait a couple hours let it dry on the floor inside the van and then also on here and then we'll come back and do another coat. All right, there's me. Um, so I'm done for the day. The floor is definitely done. It feels really nice. Um, you can definitely tell it's really well sealed. Um, so I don't think if I get water under the planks, it will damage it. 
Um, and the counter, I'm not done done, but I'm done for the day just because the wind is picking up and I don't want this to start getting all these little leaves and dust particles stuck to it. Luckily, all the leaves seem to be going that way, um, as you can kind of see over there, but, but yeah, um, it is starting to come along. I feel like you can't really see how nice the color looks, especially with the wet polyurethane on it. I just did a coat. Um, so, but yeah, done for the day. I really like how it's looking. Okay, we're tackling, actually putting the flooring in today. Um, first gotta get all of this stuff off. I think I'm gonna, I can keep this here because I kind of want to block off a little space where the electrical box is gonna be. It's gonna have a little cabinet like here. Um, and I'm gonna take maybe a Sharpie or something and mark off exactly where that's gonna be. And then, um, yeah, get everything like the big mattress pad off the floor. I actually change of plans. First, I mean, first yes, I do have to take all the stuff off the floor, but before I can even put the floors in after that, I do need to sweep and then put, um, and put great stuff in the cracks like there. And then there's some more kind of by the kitchen cabinet. All right. So right now I'm just laying them out, all the planks to kind of see what needs to be cut. So I've done a few cuts here, made a little skinny piece there. Um, I think I cut another piece. I just don't know which one it I think it was just this one. It took a little while to get that right. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of laying down the full pieces. I think I've gotten all the like full length pieces that don't need to be cut down. Um, I didn't think I was going to be doing this kind of staggered thing because the wood is so similar, but the, cause it's not like stained differently really. So it just looks like it's like hardwood floor and I really like how it's looking. This is like two pieces and it looks like seamless. So, um, so now I got to cut out all these little pieces. That's going to be a kind of thin piece, which is good because it'll match that. Um, but yeah, like I said, it all meshes really, really well. And I do really like the color. I don't know. I think it's coming and it's coming off a little cool tone. I think this is more true. Like this area is more true to the tone. It is nice and dark. Um, my counter, I was kind of trying to match that because this is actually going to be the same stain that I then use for the ceiling. That blurry. There we go, we're just very close. Um, but I think this is just going to be a little cool toned, but again, come on, focus, there we go. I don't really mind. It feels really nice on the feet. Um, yeah, it's a, hopefully, don't need to get another box. I don't think I do, because I think I can, like, overlap some of these pieces. That little piece is going to be interesting, and then I do want to um, put a piece... I should get back on. Put a piece right here to kind of cover all that. And I'll put a little um, like metal or something connector or like a trim piece to edge these together. But yeah. And all the videos and instruction stuff that I've watched says that a utility knife is fine. I don't know if it, I like had to buy a completely new utility knife because I couldn't find mine. Um, so it's a brand new blade. And it says like heavy duty, but it just didn't work. So I've resorted to using the jigsaw and that's been working really well, super easy. It's getting the little plastic bits everywhere, um, which kind of sucks for like the environment, <laughs> all the little microplastic stuff. But um, it's, I think it's just far too messy to do inside and too loud. The chest is inside and I just don't want to freak her out with the saw noises.
out I am just a little bit short for the planks um, I'm missing up front right here that I might check eBay first before I go and spend another $60 on 10, 10 more square feet of this plank flooring. Um, I do have one little extra piece. Um, I think I'm gonna hold on to this to do the little sides. Um, just a little annoyed, but it looks nice and it's pretty quick now that I know how to do it. And uh, I, yeah. It's just, I feel like this is 10 square feet and it just, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just, am, I didn't do the math for it, but I just assumed because it's not that big of a space. Um, but I guess just barely bigger than 10 square feet. But I don't know if, I guess I'm gonna have to clean this up. I'm gonna take, take my lunch break. Um, and scroll a little bit online oh, yes yeah, so you can see like that basically looks kind of finished um i actually did have a little skinny piece from cutting this little skinny piece and that fit there perfectly which was nice um so i think i maybe need two or th eh, maybe three or four planks because i am going to do this side down here um but I think the whole thing comes with like 10 or 12 or something. And yeah, hopefully maybe there's someone that kind of had too many and they decided to sell the, le the leftovers online. Um, but, or I guess I can do that. Um, if the thing is I just don't have storage to like s sell stuff like that. I feel like that's something that doesn't just pop up often. Um, there's another project I can do today, and that's insulating up there, and then what's over the cabin. I picked up some Reflectix, which is, eh, there it is. Eh, 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 that little roll. Um, I mean, I feel pretty good about what I got done. I'm just annoyed that it didn't cover the whole floor. I really thought that it would. So, bummer, but oh well. Alright, so went to Home Depot today, picked up another pack of the Life Proof stuff, but um, finished up the floor. Um, I just did all the cutting, now I'm going to start gluing pieces in. I don't know if I want to keep this, I mean it doesn't really matter, there's going to be something, I guess I should probably cut that off actually, maybe I'll do that before. This will be one of the last pieces I put in, one of these little kind of trim pieces, but um, yeah, it fits really well and of course I actually did get a rubber hammer to get these pieces in um, so you can see just kind of laying them in they do end up kind of creating these seams which is one of the reasons why I did polyurethane at the floor just in case those stick um, and I guess if they well I'm gonna do my best not to create those cracks but looks really nice and we're gonna start gluing okay so I am just using clear caulk to glue the stuff down. I don't think this is probably the best thing to use, but <sighs> my dad just walked by. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started. I'm going to start this side and work my way in, or I mean out, start in, work out.
looks so good. Quick 30 minutes later, I did do a little time lapse of all of it. This guy kind of lifts up a little bit, but I think I can figure out something for that. But um, yeah, it feels so nice. Um, it's not too, I mean, it's hard, but there's that little kind of cushioning under it. Um, the underlayment that's all built in. Um, but yeah, once everything was cut and put in, it took, takes about 30 minutes just to put it all, to, well, there were some breaks in between there, probably more like 20 minutes because I was talking to my dad and then my stepmom, but yeah, I think it looks really nice. So a couple days ago, I got this in the mail. This is the roll of my upholstery fabric. I'll kind of unroll a little bit for you so you can see. So it's a little lighter than what I was initially looking for, but I think the pattern's just really cool. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna pick up some zippers so I can take it off and wash it when it inevitably gets dirty, but it's nice and thick, which is exactly what I was wanting for upholstery fabric. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to make a, I might make a trip today. Once I have some scrap pieces of this, and right now I'm gonna cut all of the um, little blocks for the cushions, and then the scrap pieces I'll take with me to um, Joanne's to pick up the zippers and the, um, what's it called, the thread. So I have to get some pretty heavy duty thread to make sure that this sticks together and doesn't just pop any seams. <laughs> So today, I'm a little sunburnt, went to the beach yesterday for my birthday, but we, I'm going to Joanne's to pick up thread, um, zippers, and what's it called? Oh my god, I'm blanking on the word. Um, but, so I'm bringing you a little swatch of fabric, this so you can actually t tell better the, uh, the design and the color, so, and then the video I took earlier, but, so yeah, bringing a little slab of uh, fabric with me so I know exactly what thread to get and what tone of zipper hopefully they have more than just like white um, which I can use I'll just put it like on the back but I'm hoping they have gray but on the way 45 minutes away from here another day working on upholstery um, right now I am I picked up all of the uh, zippers yesterday and the thread um, I got varying lengths they didn't have anything longer than two feet. Um, and then I also picked up four rolls of upholstery thread. I'm hoping that's enough. I can always go back and get more. Unfortunately, they only had four. Um, basically just figuring out what I would like, ideally want to do the zipper on the long side, just to make it easier to put the, um, the cushion in when I have to wash everything. Um, but especially like these guys, and I have that one really long one that's like 50 inches. I think for the most part, I'm just gonna have to do, although I was thinking I could do the like partial, I'm kind of thinking out loud, the like partial like half zipper where the zipper only goes like here and I can like squish in that stuff, but I don't know. Yes, kind of what we're, what we've got watching some YouTube and Brainstorming, I think I'm, I'm first gonna put so a couple the pieces that like I know won't have the zipper on. I'm gonna start kind of piecing those together. Um, so that's why I have this on top just to make sure it's all kind of laid out right. <laughs> 